One of the most common questions I get is how do I adjust my keyframes in Fusion? Here's how to do it. Here in Fusion page, we have a very simple animation. It's just kind of this water shape kind of going bloom, bloom, bloom. <laughs> And this lasts for about, oh, I don't know, 40 frames or so. Let's say we want to make it longer. Best way to do that is to go up here to the keyframes button and click on that. And that'll open the keyframes panel, this right here. Hide my camera for a second. What this is, is sort of like a timeline of all the animation inside of Fusion. Now it's really confusing because it defaults for some reason to be zoomed out into space. Here's a picture of our solar system all the way from the sun out to Pluto that used to be a planet but isn't anymore for some reason. And this is about how much you can see with the keyframes panel by default. And so what we need to do is click on this magical button right here, this one, this baby, this pumpkin. And when you do, it zooms in to where, to where anything is happening at all. And it shows you all of the nodes inside of your comp from frame zero to frame 120 or whatever your comp length is. And here, if we twirl down B spline, we can see there are a couple little white tick marks here. These tick marks are our keyframes. And so we can take these and move them around. And you see, as I move this to the right, we have this little tick mark right here. And he moves around when I move this one. And so I can push this out all the way to 119. And now we have a much slower animation. So that's a great way to speed up or slow down your animation is just take these keyframes and move them farther apart or closer together. So closer together is faster. So as we play this back, that goes really fast. You can box select both of these keyframes and when they're both yellow, you can grab them and move them back and forth to change when this animation happens in time. So let's say we want it to just start at frame 30. We'll just have this start at frame 30 like that. We can click off of it down here, grab one of these keyframes, move this down to like frame 90. You see, see what we can do? So it's actually a pretty nice little interface. It's just not there by default. It's like, it's like so, you can't even zoom out far enough for it to be the standard view when it's done. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. But that's how you change keyframe timing in Fusion. This is also great if you have multiple things animated. So I don't know, let's just make a little boat. You wanna make a little boat with me? Let's make it a yellowish greenish boat. Take this polygon here. We'll just make a little boat like this. There's a boat. <laughs> it's not a great boat, okay? <laughs> there we go. There we go. There's a little boat. There's a little handsome man. Just boating. Merge this on top of everything. There's our boat. We'll just put him on top of the tide there. And when we drew this polygon, it actually made a keyframe here in this polygon. So we can see there's a little keyframe where our chair. So I'll take this and move this to the left and line this up with this first keyframe. And then we can go to the last keyframe like this and we'll take this polygon again and we'll just move it up. And now in between, we'll see this kind of animates. And let's just adjust this as we go. It needs to be down a little more, something like that. Great, there's our animation. And so we can see how these relate to each other by looking at where these keyframes are in time. So again, we can select all of these and move them back and forth. If we want to make the whole thing faster and we have multiple keyframes like this, we could go down here to this little icon, click that, and that's going to make a little shape box around this. And we can stretch these out to make this animation slower or faster. That's really convenient. If we want the water to come in before the boat, we can slide that to the left here. If we want the boat to come in before the water, we can slide it to the right. There we go. So we have a lot of tools to adjust our animation. Now, a couple things to mention. If for whatever reason you don't see your tools here in this list, it's probably because under this little three dots menu, you have show only selected tools or show none or show tools at current time or something here is weird. And so you can mess with this. Other thing that happens is sometimes this little button right here, the sort button, will be set to animated only. 
which if you don't have anything animated, isn't going to show anything. <laughs> and that got me real good, real good, several times. But barring those things, it shouldn't be too bad to grab things in the keyframe panel and kind of move them back and forth in time. Now, if you want to adjust how something animates, so the interpolation of the keyframes, that's like if you want it to start really slow and then speed up, that kind of thing is generally done in the spline panel. So this spline panel right here, if we close our keyframes and open up spline, you have to say it like that, spline. You can select whatever you want to adjust. And again, <laughs> hit this button so that it shows you the actual animation. Then you can grab any of these keyframes and you can grab this handle and you can adjust the interpolation of the keyframes. You can have it start out slow and then ramp up fast. You can have it go really fast and then kind of slow down. So we have all kinds of springy animation and things that we can do with it. You can even select this and hit F on the keyboard for flatten. That's just a quick shortcut. And again, kind of similar with these little three dots, you have some view options here. Make sure that those are taken care of if things are acting weird. You can also grab a keyframe and move it back and forth in the spline panel to adjust the timing a little bit, but it's just a little bit easier to adjust the timing in the keyframes panel. So the spline panel is more about adjusting the spline. You get it? The spline panel is for the spline. The keyframes panel is for the keyframes. Back to school, back to school to prove to dad that I'm not a fool. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it's done. If you want to learn more about animating stuff in Fusion, here's the video. You can download media and follow along with some practical examples. It's just it's just some good stuff to help, to help you learn Fusion. All right, that's what we're here for. Help you out. Make good stuff. Do a lot of good stuff.